At times, I wrote whole books. Before I could afford a book, I used to borrow a book and wrote the whole book word for word. Here it is right here. Whole book. Today, we're going to talk about coming from wishing to winning. Uh, a lot of times, man, a lot of times people are wishing they could have something. They wishing they could do something. And I truly believe that wishing ain't doing enough. It took some years for me to planning and, and getting myself together. And I'm uh, going for my vision. Hey, I'm going to tell you today, man, I'm going from old school, man. I want to show you, man. We talking about going from wishing to winning. Now, I show this book, man. I'm sure it a lot, man, because this right here is when I was right. Uh, a lot of times we want to go for winning, but we don't, we don't want to do no work. Uh, wishing to win it, but you don't want to work. And uh, right here, man, it shows, let me, you can see it again, I'm gonna show how writing words. I just, I wrote them down and I, I wanted to make sure I got a plan together. Now, those that don't know my story, those that may be getting into my story, I came from a time that, you know, I didn't have much resources. So without resources, I had to figure out how to get to where I wanted to get. And I truly believe that you want to get to where you want to go, God put it beside you right now. If you need something to get anywhere else, it's right there with you today. Because if you believe that you're supposed to make it, then what you have around you, the people around you, you may have to get rid of some of them, but it's some people around you that can get you where you want to get today. And the reason how I know is because that's what I had. All I had was a people, a vision, and opportunity to get some books. And so I uh, used what I was learning in the books on the people, and I had my vision implanted and printed in my subconscious. And so when I got to where I could do something with it, I, I did something with it. I, I just think a lot of times we are um, limited beliefs on our own potential. And I say that because we, we use certain words that we don't know that's holding us back. Uh, I was with us at a seminar the other day, sales training, I'm sorry. And this guy said, man, I'm gonna try to do something. I said, hold up, wait a minute, bro. And I, I had my phone like a guy right here. I put it in front of me and I said, man, try to pick it up. He said, what you mean? I said, try to pick it up. He said, what? I said, man, I'm gonna either pick it up or I'm not. That's the two bottom line. And see, he was like, man, you never understand that we have been programmed not to make it, man. We have been programmed with the people around us. We have been programmed to just live average life. I tell people right now, do not be average. Don't be average. We want to go above average mentality. And, and in order to do that, we got to get around people just pushing above average things. You know what I mean? See, wishing ain't doing enough. I live and I breathe that. I really mean that I can't wish for it. I looked up the word wishing and wishing is thinking that something can happen. I mean, not even believing that something can happen, right? So I wish the world to be better. I wish that we have peace in the world. You know that's not gonna happen, but you wish it was, right? So it's all about me with mindset, man. Wishing ain't doing enough is something that you hear me say all the time. And it's so catchy that I think a lot of people, are, they gravitated to it and they make me wanna say it more. Um, and, 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 and that's just where we are today. Now, I'm gonna tell you what it started with. It started with when I started studying finances. And it made me so mad how they did my grandma. I, I watched my grandma work all her life. And she was a nurse. And at that time, I'm thinking nurse is a high paying job. But as she got older, I seen my grandmama not being able to uh, pay for her medicine and stuff after she got through working. But I didn't know what was going on. It wasn't until I had some times on my hand, a little, little time to see what was going on in the world. And I started to read. I started to get that knowledge. I started to understand. That's why I say it's mentality, not money. I was in a place that I wasn't making that much money. I was only making like 17 cents an hour. But the knowledge that I was getting was going to take me to where I could make over 30000 a month. But the only thing is the knowledge, man. And a lot of times we get so bombarded with things that we got to do that we don't take time to sit down and try to take the time, get a peace of mind and understand where you want to go. The reason why I keep showing this, man, I, work, I wrote out where I wanted to go. I wrote it out what I want. It's a whole page on income. Income right there. I wrote it out what I wanted. At times I wrote whole books. Before I could afford a book, I used to borrow a book and wrote the whole book word for word. It is right here. Whole book. And so my thing is wishing ain't, reason why I say wishing ain't doing enough, do you have determination to go ahead and change your life? I knew where I was, I didn't want to be there no more. And I knew I, had, I couldn't go back to what I was doing and I knew that I had my children that I had to take care of. So I went all in and then I gave God my life and then I went all in. Let's get back onto what I was really talking about is how wishing is not doing enough. It's only you that can change your future, your family and yourself. I built everything up on four F's, freedom, family, finances, and fatherhood. As long as you follow 
follow me, you're going to see I have a lot of values and a lot of things that I put together. I had time to place them things together. A lot of times people will see uh, that you make a little money. They see that you got a couple of things going for you. And they were like, man, he making about a quarter million or he making uh, 10,000 a month, whatever, whatever. But they don't understand the mentality it takes to get there. See, we're like computers, right? So the same way we sit our computer and we program our computer, they put them ones and zeros and stuff in there, them digits. We program our mind with words. The young man said, I I I'm gonna try to do this. And I said, man, look, hey, here go my phone. Try to pick it up. Anytime you got something in front of you, either one of y'all, try to put it in front of you and try to pick it up. Either you're going to pick it up or you're not. So my goal is to take my business to the next level, take people to the next level, and I'm going to do it regardless. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm going to make sure it happens. And so when I step into certain arenas with that kind of confidence, just nothing can happen. All I can do is get what I want. But you have to have that deep-seated belief that you can make it happen. I see a lot of people that I'm coaching with now, and they're like, man, I can't get a walk. Well, what are you doing to get a walk? Are you just waiting for the, the VAs to hit you up? Are you waiting for something that's falling in your lap? What are you doing to get a walkthrough? I went to a uh, a sales uh, training and my guy said, he said he'd wake up every day with a hot list. Hot list, who you getting back today? And then he broke down four different people that he could go with. Old customers, current customers, strategic partners, and leads. Those are four groups that you can bang down every day to get something, right? And I thought about it. I'm just waiting for my leads to come in. I got three other sources that I could go out and bust down and, 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 and see what's going on. And I'm not doing it. It's because I got comfortable in one area, right? Oh, and the pink walls. I got the pink walls. Yeah, my, my, my cleaning company is pink. But the pink walls, because serenity is like royalty. You get into a room and uh, as I turn my lights off, if I turn these lights off in here, I got uh, red lights around here. I want to sit here and think. It's called a launch pad for a reason. I labeled it the launch pad. If you, I show it one day, but it's the launch pad. And I want my ideas to be launched from it. I want, want things to come. So I'm big on naming things. I know I've been all around the world today, but it's all mentality, right? We're still on the mentality. I'm big on naming things as, as, as it is. Ascent Cleaning Solutions. The company Ascent, purple and gold, royalty, triangle, powerful symbol, purple, royal color, purple behind me, feeling serene. It all has something to do with the journey. So ascent, the word ascent means you start somewhere and you go up to the next level. You ascent, ascension. I put the spirit that I wanted into it. So I knew I was going to bring something out of it because I put a spirit of success into the name. I started with the spirit of success, but get what I did. I had time to think about it. I wrote that thing down. Some of y'all ain't even writing things down. If you like the content that I put up, hit the subscribe button. There's a bell to be notified every time you put a video up. You can share if you think that someone else like to hear. Or you can just leave a comment below. I like to say throw some positive in the air too. Because they say when prayers go up, blessings come down. And I like all positivity. So uh, if you like the content, man, say something. Leave me a message. Let me know which way you want to go with it. Do you think I was serious? I mean, have you? Do you? I mean, what you think? Let's get to it, man. I got something for you. I ain't gonna lie. I did. Peace.